the Dallas Fuel just got completely mauled by the Hunters. This is a team that was in the top six, and they fall now to 10 in 10. Some bad news for the Dallas Fuel. They are eliminated from contention in the stage three playoffs. Wiping away, and we're starting new. So with the loss of our games the previous week, we're talking about what options we had because losing to Chengdu meant that we were eliminated from stage playoff contention, um, which kind of sucks. Um, definitely we're hoping to you know, be able to make a real case in the, in the playoffs this stage. Um, things didn't work out so far. Being eliminated from the stage playoffs at this point kind of meant that we could move up some of the stuff we were planning on for the future. Um, you know, We're always planning on what we're gonna be working on this week, next week, weeks to come. And so being eliminated from the stage playoffs and not attending the Atlanta homestand meant that you know we could take some time and experiment with a possible meta shift for the next stage. So in looking at our options, we wanted to um, kind of create chaos. With that in mind, um, we opted to bring in Taimu for this week. I got told by Arrow last Sunday that I'm gonna play this week, like the whole week. Well, like we weren't really sure like how many maps are we going to play? I let Taimu know uh, before the week started, you know, hey, you're going to be playing all this week, not just a couple maps here and there. You're going to be playing all this week and playing on stage. And I know that definitely made Timo excited. It felt really good playing with the team again. It was like a breath of fresh air. I hadn't really scrimmed for like almost a year because like that's when Team Finnan was a thing. So like I felt really tired after four hour days. Like it was crazy hard. It was definitely a busy week for everyone, but we felt pretty good. We felt pretty good about the compositions we had, about how scrims were going with them. I felt that the best way for us to possibly take a win off of New York was to really pressure the fact that they don't have a dedicated D.Va player in. So I wanted to tailor compositions that would be built around what a normal team would say, oh, well, we, let's just swap the D.Va. Well, if New York was doing that, they'd be playing someone who isn't used to playing D.Va on that role, which means we could also exploit that. So we wanted to take this chaotic style um, and you add that with uh, playing with new players this week, but also possibly um, working on you know what might be a new meta in the next stage. The goal was to try and just stay focused. We wanted to make sure that we were addressing the team synergy stuff, the composition stuff, the map stuff, everything, and focus on making sure this week was a week of growth. Um, you know, when, when we lose, we always want to grow from it, adapt from it, learn from it, and become better. And so this week was a great opportunity for us to not only grow from it, learn from it, try new things, but also have a real shot of making an upset. And everyone was very confident and very happy, very excited for this match. On match day, you could tell things were kind of buzzing, you know, especially you know seeing Timo so happy about being able to start. I think the last time I played in Irish League was, I think I, like, I watched the stream afterwards, like, really fast, and I think they gave a stat where I was, I was starting 377 days ago, and that's a f long time. Like, I was very nervous and very, very anxious, because I didn't know how I'm going to do, because I only had, like, five days to practice, and I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm going to play really badly on stage. Like, my hands were shaking like crazy. It was crazy bad. Then I just tried to calm myself down. And I think everyone was, was really, really anxious to just kind of get in and just wanted to get in, excited to play and, and, and get things going. Yeah. No loss, All right, no loss. Yeah. this week has been a hectic week. We've tried a lot of shit and are ready to bring some fucking chaos, all right? In honor of chaos and our Finnish man coming back to the stage, we're going to say the only Finnish word I know. Bring them in. All right, so we're gonna yeah. moy on three. <laughs> moy, all right? All right, one, two, three, moy! <laughs> and the Dallas Field taking the stage, and who's that? It's Taimu, that's right. He's back. It's been a long time, but I, I'm glad to see that. He's off of his gut oh, a lot of the time. Let's see if he can get a big EMP here, and he can. Oh, with three people. Yeah, not the best follow-up with the Barrage, but they're still getting the Alim. It's enough. Still on the back of the point, is going to fall eventually. Hacks coming in now for time to Dallas should be able to mop this one up. I know on his own, only so much he can do, and Dallas Fuel take that round first. Time will looking really happy after that one. I think that point going so well for us was crucial with 
Timo getting back used to the stage and the environment, I know that he was very nervous and anxious about it. Towards the end of it, you could tell like Timo was trying to get the zone. After the first round we won, I started feeling like really zoned into the game. You could really feel that once we took that first point, like things were clicking. Chunk them out. The point of this is you try to follow the Ooh. rockets from Zachary, and Taibu is just going to get the hit on the Samuel B on the there flank. Now Milo Mato has to flee. Libro has no health and no mech as well. Dallas Steel winning this early fight again. I know down though, so Dallas responding well. Lots of damage from Nene, no one Zarya though, no comes in. Looking danger, the D Knight are going after Libro on the rally, and nobody can get there. Dallas Steel with the 2 0 on Oasis. Impressive. So going up 1 0 in the series was a big boost. Everyone pretty much predicted New York would 4 0 us, and we knew that expectations were low. And, you know, we wanted to come out swinging, and we did. Now the EMP comes in on the NYXL, and they're getting wrecked once again. Sabilby, hacked by the EMP before he uses his ult, comes in now, but his team is dead. What are you gonna do? Left flicks aren't up if it's a 5v2. Just up, just up, just up, just up. Nice! Let's go, boys. And New York is gonna get held right here. It's gonna be a 2-0 lead for the Dallas Fuel if they can just clean this up, and it looks like they can. Taibu with one, Harry Hook joins the kill feed as well. And as overtime expires, we are in a 2-0 situation for the Dallas Fuel. So going up 2-0 after Paris, you know, everyone was buzzing. There was excitement and we kind of, we were really hoping to be able to close out the series on the next map with Hollywood. Also a map that we had some stuff uh, tailored for it. Grab comes in a bit first, but New York can't really capitalize. Now note, Harry Hook, closer, they've all got the ultimates and they might not even need them to close it out. Dallas Fuel takes a little while, but they get it. It's just not working out for Dallas Fuel. The payload's gonna get stopped right here. It's all clean up for New York Excelsior. Easy shatter on the time at the end, and that's where the payload stops. Don't close her down already, though. Trill needs a massive earth shatter if they want to even have a hope of keeping this going, and he dies during the animation, and that is it. New York on the board with a win. Overall, the map went okay, um, but but there was a lot of little mistakes, individual stuff that, that we kind of loved there. Um, felt like we didn't quite play as well as we could have on Hollywood. AKM subbing in for Taimu. Taimu's had a great day today, actually. The Silvers look really strong. I'm the decision to bring AKM in on that map was one that we'd been practicing for a while. There was a couple strategies that we felt like it was possible we'd have to play standard 3-3. Um, which is one of the main reasons we brought ACAN back in. No tire available, no can't use his uh, self-destruct either. That said, Nanny and down Trill finds one at the Primal Rage, and now they've got the Batiste, they're trying to kill that Immortality Field, and that's it! New York and Hell, they stepped off! Oh, and he gets Mono right on top, there was no defense. And that could be the end of point B, unless this EMP from Sable will be changes thing with your Zarya out of the way. I don't think so, man. Zachary just killing everybody on this Junkrat. They got so many crucial members out of the way. This ground needs to be insane, but it's not. There's the EMP to seal the deal. Then they take it out, but that's gonna be the end of it. We are going to map five, New York holds. And this has been a crazy series, very interesting strats. Gibraltar, like our team just stumped them like so hard. And then we just couldn't come up with a plan. We felt like that was a map that we definitely should have taken to close out the series. Um, so that one definitely hit us pretty hard. That was the turning point where our team kind of lost their confidence. Zachary kills Jonak, but it's going to be so tough for them to keep pushing this here. Note gets in there with the, or gets res, but Nene with the swap over to the Soldier 76, the damage too much. And Dallas Fuel with a great start to this series, but in the end, it's going to be New York taking the win. Lucky boys, it was close. Try right, guys, nice try. So close. They completed the reverse sweep and you could tell it was pretty heartbreaking for everybody. It stung, and everyone thought that we could win that, especially at the half. We easily could have had that match, like really easily, but we just let it slip away. It was kind of sad. Obviously not winning um, really sucks, and being up in that way to get reverse swept like that, you know, really sucks. We really wanted to take that win from New York. Um, but overall, I was still really proud because, you know, changing so much in such a short time, playing entirely new comps and um, having new communication structure with new players in and all the tweaking that we did throughout the week, you know, for doing this chaos style as I was calling it throughout the week, um, 
you know, it's very taxing on players. And, you know, everyone embraced it and really dug in and tried to make it work. And we did make it work and just couldn't quite close it out. That loss kind of stings, but we still played really well. I think, uh, you know, how much we changed this week, like I said yesterday, I'm still really proud of how we did. Um, sucks that we lost, but hey, um, I think we overcame a lot internally um, and we played well in the first half. Uh, sucks we couldn't close it out, but hey, we move on, okay? Um, after today, we have a break and then we're gonna, gonna come into stage four strong, all right? So I am very confident in our, in our ability to play uh, the DPS comps in that style. I think we can transfer it to the next stage, okay? Um, so even though we lost, keep your head up and get some rest over this break, all right? So, GG's today. With it being Timo's debut, I know that he really wanted to have a, a, a win. He wanted to get the upset and have a good showing. Um, he definitely had a good showing. Um, and so, you know, that, that's kind of a bonus for him. And it, with us being able to test, you know, how the communication structure would work in that style, um, possibly for next stage, you know, we felt like even though we lost, um, it was something that, you know, we, we could actually take real positives away from it internally. Well, seeing what we can do with only a few days of practice going to stage four, like I think we have a very, very, very good chance to at least clinch the top 12 of the overall standing so we can make the playoffs. We have a small chance of winning the whole thing, but I think we have a really good chance of at least making it into the playoff run. Everyone has time to take a break. You know, this, this stage was definitely our most stressful one so far and probably the toughest one of the, of the season, even though we have a tough schedule next stage, having to adapt styles so often and change so much with, and with the frequency of how much we played the first four weeks, stage three was definitely you know, our, our toughest one. And we now can just relax from that, focus on the future. And with the next stage being the decider of whether or not we can get into the play-ins or into the playoffs, you know, we, we think it's a very positive thing um, that we were able to to build up that trust and try out these new styles and these adaptations and for it to go so well. Um, so we definitely are looking forward to the future. And, you know, even though we lost, there's actually a lot of very tangible things that we can take away from this one. So I'm really proud of everyone for how we did.